Episode three, Time Breaker. We often look back and wonder, what if? What if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course? Would we be happier? Or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities. You lost. For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him, in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds, across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different. In Night Springs. Tonight's reality bending episode, Timebreaker. Okay, what is this one gonna be like? No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it. And I will come back for you. My love. Take five. This is gonna be great. We got Sam. Is that Sam Lake in the chair? Let's go. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes. 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 Sean. I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Is Sam like the cutest creature on this planet Earth? I think he is. I mean, second to Rose. It's so cool we are making this shot. Let's dive in. Okay, I'm ready. I'm all in. You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now finally we are making Time Breaker, the video game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. <laughs> of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep through. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> yeah, 
You are a maniac, man. Totally. About my gadget. So the Vortex and the gadget. I'm, sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's, there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter, with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. Let's go. Learn our lines. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan Finnish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. This is the guy from the diner that Rose was going to give the book to. Poison Pill Entertainment. What a name. Oh, hello. No. This is your end. What the fuck was that? Hello? Uh oh. What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this uh, was real. Um. I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. So we got another Pissy. one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just, it's a prank. It's, it's a, just prank, a prank, bro. You? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe that's Branch. Are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to do. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> what the fuck? I wanted to read that what note. Fuck! Oh, God, our hair. What's going on with our hair? I blanked out, and I was suddenly someplace else. I'd had gaps in my memory before, but that's the movie star lifestyle for you. Yeah, sure, sure, Tim. This I mean, was Sean. something else entirely. I mean, Branch. Reminds me of. Uh... Shit, what was his name? The last thing I remembered was the redheaded woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something, and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. Think, 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 man. Booker. We need to get out of here. Booker DeWitt. Episode. Or was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall, method acting reality show. It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's, let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay. I'm an actor. I can do this. Mm -hmm. And once it's over, you got this. We'll have a good laugh. Oh yeah. And then so many laughs. I will punch Sam in the face. Don't do that. <laughs> don't don't punch Sam in the face. Yeah, it reminds me of a uh, BioShock Infinite. A little bit. I mean, I know that the mold. The multiverse, the idea of a multiverse is, is nothing new. 
But the first time I really experienced it in a game form was like uh, Bioshock Infinite. Booker do it. Probably way past time for a replay of that series. Where the hell am I? More Danger. multiverse nonsense. But I was committed to play along. Hey. There's always a Sam. There's always a weird doohickey. <laughs> Night Springs, City Park, Parallel Reality, Blade Zone, Cross Dimensional Anomaly, No Trespassing. This music is very like 80s sci-fi oh, what had Sam said? alien kind of vibes I to find an energy node and use this rod thing with it the prs was it ems and look for some kind of tv to get the hell out of here Spooky vibes. No, no, no. Door's coming. He knows who I am. Who the hell is that? That's coming. He knows about the trailer. I need to hide the energy. I need to get it away from the trailer. Away from the TV. No, can't. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice a prank, in my bro. head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me. The one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. Okay, so we have a pistol. We have a flashbang or something. Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy. The other me had hidden away from this tree. Binoculars. Sleeping bag. Crackers. Macaroni and cheese. Potatoes. This music is so good. You are here. <gasps> It's not a loop. It's a spiral. But the question is, which way are we going? Are we going closer to the center? Or are we coming out? That's the question. The handwriting was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The master of many worlds. Who is the master of many worlds? Darling's book. He's pulling the strings. I must hide from him. Door? Me? Another me? Someone the else? The energy node was out there in the forest somewhere. I was wasting time. I'm trying to read. I had to go look for it. I'm trying to read, bro. Someone else? He who wrote this, string theory, multiverse. Why is he after me, after us? He's coming, polyhedrons are the key. Oops, shit. Because one of us is the chosen one who can stop him, replace him. Rec agent branch, time breaker, James S. You're a, a paranoid nutcase. Killing us, not dead, something worse, broken. Am I the chosen one? I must be careful. Find a way to break through. 
disappear off the grid. We are connected in our dreams. The red-headed woman, I must find her again. I know her. Lisa, Elisa, Jesse, Elizabeth, Liz, Liz, Savage, Dylan. I hear their thoughts when they die. The wreck conspiracy don't wipe. Why are the acronyms? What are they hiding? Find the energy node. Okay, investigate the forest. The creek's deep in the forest, all the way in the waterfall. It's safe. Now get the fuck away from here before door zeroes in on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all the versions. Me. Yes. Yes. He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it. Okay. I think this way, this really spooky way, is uh, probably the right way. The atmosphere, they, they nailed it here. We gotta get our feet wet. Okay, I found the creek. So but we need where's the energy node. We need a waterfall, right? So let's follow the creek up. Oh, dead end. A disco ball. It's getting close. Oh. PRS was charged now. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. <gasps> Did not sound good for our boy out there. Fuck. Oh no. Another Fuck one. Fuck this shit. I thought it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent. Played by me. Versions of myself. Calm down again. Dang it. I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. The door would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. 
yeah this is so this is so right up my alley i'm loving i'm digging the vibes the atmosphere the music it's just like yes this is great all right let's get on in here use, use the prs the polyhedral reality shift on the tv to get mm -hmm. out of here mm -hmm. i felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen i was afraid that wherever it would take me i was going to run into this door person but i couldn't stay here either okay did it work View Hotel. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. It's all gray. <sighs> Welcome to Night Spring City's Ocean View Hotel. Enjoy your stay. different reality but not better worse it's loud in here maybe by thinking of door i traveled closer to him to where he was in control next time i'd focus on something else the clocks showed the way they'd guide me through to get what i needed 12 entertainment lobby i'm gonna write this down just in case 12 enter attainment three tango lobby and nine coffee more coffee we are coffee okay you got this find another node another tv so the one of the one of the tim breakers went to the coffee lobby and maybe ended up in coffee world and that was the one that jesse met, uh, met up with maybe and then he turned into coffee he became one with a coffee i had to find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what i needed was there it's always the right time to visit night spring city's ocean view hotel Thanks for our hotel's unique time anomaly. The time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never-ending breakfast buffet. Yo! I want to go here. Craving one of our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the 6 o'clock lobby where cocktail, cocktail hour is always in full swing. Just follow the clocks to the time of your choice. At the Ocean View Hotel, the right time is only a door away. Okay. All right, so we could go to entertainment or wait. I don't remember a six o'clock, but the three o'clock is the tango. <gasps> tango, are we gonna see Ati? Are we gonna see Ati? Lizard, you say Long Dream by Junji Ito is another good one. Okay, I'll I'll try to remember that. Actually, write it down. Long Dream. The same warning sign as before. Okay. It made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling. Something to do with door. This doesn't seem very entertaining yet, so far. A Luma Vista TV. I just 
just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me. The one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. No one a Poison Pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then, maybe Poison Pill didn't even exist in this reality. Timebreaker, thrilling adventures. Through time and space. Funny. Who is our mysterious traveler? All is revealed in the pages of the trippiest collection of science fiction stories on the stands. The Secret Origin of Door includes a 3D pullout map of the Ripple Effect Corporation, the zaniest story we've ever published. Wow. Sounds awesome. Entertainment Tango Coffee. Same same times. There's the TV. We need to power up our thing to chart to do the thing. You know what I'm saying? go um well if we go back through here does this just loop us around let's see because i'm still waiting for the entertainment <laughs> Ew, okay i guess that's the entertainment oh shit hello Corridors led to the same lobby, but in different times. Oh, it's different now. Nine o'clock? Uh, let's go here. called again Should we be reading the lyrics? I was just vibing. Heroes Tango. I can't, I don't know what any of that says.
Am I gonna use any, all this ammo and stuff? Maybe there was logic to it. Finding the right route to get through. Um. Well, we haven't gone here yet. Nine o'clock should lead to coffee. Flashlight charges. Well, not not really anything going on here, is there? I take the wrong path. So 12, 3, 9. I tried going in that order and nothing happened. the top 12 okay yep there's the tv three For Tango. used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Dor. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Time Breakers attacked me. Okay. Should be...
You ain't gonna get me. Okay. Do the thing. This time, a different attack. I thought about the Let him talk. Let him talk. She knew things. If I could find my way to her, she could help. Okay. All right, let's go find Jesse. you away I thought you were gone for sure I focused on you when I entered the vortex I, I was trying to reach you you are full of surprises okay let's try this out welcome to the headquarters of the ripple effect corporation we were making a video game of the multiverse, but Party. now it's suddenly real. Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters in a video game. This is trippy! This is so trippy. It's like they're breaking all kinds of walls here. Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop, killing all other versions of him. I am on the threshold. But he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them. Bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you.
Was there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. Just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. Interesting. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, the door. The master. We, I mean, yeah, we could try to pause. Yeah, let's see. I turned the sound effects volume down, but the music is like kind of loud. So let's try that. Oh, whoa, look at this. We are old school. My time breakers will stop you and you will join their ranks. Fuck off. Get ready. Ah! What else can we do? Is that our only move? <laughs> Get ready. Out of all the versions, you might be the chosen one. Join me and we'll rule together. No, never. You'll regret this. Also, I was lying. <laughs> Charge it up. We got through it. I've been brought to the very edge of the multiverse. Or some deep, dark trench in it. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. 
I had to find door or the means to travel on. Confront the master of many worlds. Come on, I'll take them all. All right, back to our disco ball. <laughs> Find a TV. Okay. Oh, I see a TV there in the distance. felt like the text was the only thing holding this place together. All of it being reduced to its conceptual form. Soon it would just be words. This was a reality at the edge of the multiverse, devoid of color and energy. An entropic wasteland. Every shape here was formed by dark pages filled with pale words. The underlying tissue of all reality now exposed. The only other thing that remained were the dead energy nodes built to last the very collapse of the multiverse. Behind each do dark dune of this desert lay a further expanse of nothing. There was nothing here except decay and inevitability. The path to oblivion was growing short, but time marched on regardless. You have come. I would like to reload, please. hit those headshots. I was close. I knew I was close now. Wait, 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 wait.
After dreamless sleep, you come to and gradually become aware of the utter lack. There is nothing. Focus or go back to sleep. <gasps> We're in a text-based um, game? <laughs> Story? <laughs> choose your own... Uh, choose your own... What's it called? Choose your own destiny. Choose your own story. Focus. You search for something. Choose your own adventure. Yes. This does remind me of Nier. Yes. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape comes to your mind. A pentagonal tra trapezohedron. Close enough. How do you know the name of this shape? That you don't know. You feel yourself fading, drifting apart, losing your essence in the stream of consciousness, the ebbs and flows of your thoughts. Hold yourself together. You fight to hold yourself together, to swim against the current, to break the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is something and there is you. Slowly, you sense the words describing this, describing how it is. Here. In the farthest reaches of the multiverse, you have reached a reality where only ideas exist. An idea of reality, a conceptual reality, a thought tries to form in your mind. Focus on the thought. You focus on the thought and it becomes clear. In the beginning, there was the word. Here, only words exist. They are everything. They describe this world and you in it. Decipher the words. The words describe you standing in a barren conceptual desert. It stretches on to eternity, in a place outside time. You wait an immeasurable amount of time. Above, ideas of stars silently collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of a desert comes an idea of feeling thirsty. Do we want to imagine a cup of coffee or a cup of tea? Well, after everything we've been through, I'm definitely thinking the tea. As you imagine it, a cup of tea, your chosen hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of it. The concept of its smell and taste is real. You wonder why you didn't go with coffee, as it is your favorite drink. Don't lie. Don't lie. You sigh wistfully. You imagine a sigh. You understand... That here, your thoughts are as real as anything. Sorry, I think they're trying to call me in to come into work tomorrow. But I'm not doing it. Assess your situation. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you are on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. When traveling through the vortex, you always had a focal point in mind. Could that be the solution here as well? Focus on the master of many worlds or focus on the redheaded woman. Let's focus on the master of many worlds because that's who we're after. You focus your thoughts on the master of many worlds. The desert dreamscape around you darkens. You vaguely feel the terrible weight of an alien, godlike awareness shift many realities away. How can you possibly find him, let alone face him? Meditate to learn or prepare for war. Prepare for war. You know you'll have to face the master of many worlds and his army of timebreakers. He will show you no mercy. You must prepare. Search for allies, search for refuge. Let's search for allies. You seek allies across the multiverse, reaching out to the versions of you who have not been turned into time breakers by door. You share a telepathic link with them. You are the perfect army. Let's search for refuge. You seek a perfect place of power to build your base of operations. In the desert, you come upon a gigantic petrified tree trunk. You convert it into a skyscraper of brutalist tech architecture. You set up an organization, a corporation. Call it the Ripple Effect Corporation. You call it REC, 
Ripple Effect Corporation. The name feels appropriate. You're approached by a version of the redheaded woman. Her name is Jesbit. She doesn't know you, but there is a connection there. You make her the director of your corporation. She carries a powerful weapon that can take many forms. Ask Jesbit about the weapon. Trust her with the weapon. Ask her to give the weapon to you. Trust her with the weapon. You trust Jesbit to wield the powerful weapon. She seems relieved and swears to defend you and the corporation from the enemy. As director, Jesbit warns you that the REC is currently not equipped to subdue the master of many worlds. Without a technological breakthrough, your chances are slim. Let's research the new technologies internally or scour the multiverse for technology. Let's scour. Under your director's leadership, agents of the REC scour the multiverse and encounter many uncontrollable horrors. There are causalities. Casualties. Finally, they locate a reality with a singular alien being of godlike power. It is shaped like a polyhedron. The being has enough power to potentially defeat the master, but the very sight of it drives away agents who look at it. Drives any agents who look at it mad. Have it brought to the REC. The alien being is shipped to the REC headquarters where it is secured in a containment cell. Not long after, the director comes to you with intelligence. The master of many worlds is preparing an all-out all -out attack. The REC is running out of time. Unfortunately, attempts to research the alien being stall, as everyone who is exposed to it goes insane. Given the situation, Jesbit suggests a desperate plan. Harnet the being's power and detonate it as a bomb. Is this like the story of control and how the hiss came to be and everything? Uh, research the alien being yourself or agree to utilize the alien as a bomb. Let's research it. The director urges you to reconsider. You are too valuable to the cause to risk yourself like this and she doesn't want to lose you, she admits. Assure Jesbit you'll be fine or agree to utilize the alien as a bomb. But the alien is, isn't is Dylan, right? Is it? I mean, it could be something completely different. No, we'll be fine. Assure Jesbit we'll be fine? In an REC laboratory, you expose yourself to the wild destructive resonance of the alien being. We're the chosen one! It alters you. You feel yourself undergoing a strange metamorphosis. Accept the alien being's power. You feel your consciousness expanding in inhuman ways as you become aware of unknown planes of existence touching ours. You burn with a terrifying, barely contained force. You are no longer a man. You are something else, something more, a being of godlike power. The alien being in the laboratory dies. You have stolen all its power. Trembling, Director Jesbit shifts her gaze from you. Your transformation has shaken her. It is time. Confront the master of many worlds. <gasps> have we become like Trench or something? A hush falls upon the REC headquarters as you wait for the enemy to come. People, your agents, your warriors, stand staring at the monitors on the walls. Jesbit stands beside you. Then they come. Time, break time breakers shifting in, filling the desert. Each one is a version of you, killed and corrupted by the master of many worlds. The multiverse is infinite. There are millions of them. Lead the attack. With your senses heightened by the alien power, it is easy to predict, predict the attacks of your enemies. It is as if everything around you moves in slow motion. You see Jesbit is keeping her distance from you, wary of the thing that you have become. Enemies are massing around her. Help her or let her handle it. Help her. 
As you fight your way toward her, she notices you coming and is transfixed by the horror of your appearance. With her guard down... No! Time breakers find an opening and manage to cut her down. Rage fills your mind. Let the rage consume you! The violent cosmic power in you, barely contained, erupts! Warping reality, the planets above are thrust into ritualistic constellations, amplifying the force. The resonant pours out of you, destroying everything in its path. Jesbit, the agents, the skyscraper, the time breakers, the desert, the adjoining parallel realities, time and space permanently scarred with ripples and dooms, shaped by the waves of the resonance. Something inside you tells to stop. It is going too far. You must stop. Force yourself to stop. With immense effort, you manage to stem the tide of your anger. You are yourself again. All the alien power spent. You are alone. Jesbit's weapon lies on the ground. Pick up the weapon. When you pick it up, it turns into a key in your hands. Oops. You look at the key, you realize you have lost your way, forgotten your mission and your goal. You have drifted off course, carried by the currents of your hopes and ideas in this conceptual reality. Try to remember. You frown, trying to remember where you were trying to go. What was your mission? You look for it, shifting through your thoughts. It comes to you with a jolt. You are trying to find your way to the master of many worlds. There was something about a door. Focus on the door. With that, a door begins to come into focus. You realize it is missing something. Open the door or use the key with the door. Uh, use the key. You push the key toward the idea of a keyhole on the night, not quite there door. And with that, the door is fully realized. Open it. You turn the key and open the door. Step over the threshold. You... I just realized my camera is not where I wanted it to be, but... I turned the wrong camera on, but I guess it's working out for this part, huh? You step inside and stand in a room with a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing, turning concepts and ideas into words, shaping this reality. He lifts his head. Look at the master of many worlds. You stare the man in the eye. With a shock, you realize that you have made a mistake. You have come to the wrong place. The man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you were looking for. He's not Dor. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late. Continue. <laughs> it's Alan at his desk and his typewriter in ASCII. <laughs> we have witnessed a case of mistaken identity. But in the vastness of the multiverse, with an endless number of versions of ourselves, what is identity anyway? Can there be more than one master of many worlds? Or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way? Was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become? One thing is certain. I am your host. The one and only Warland Dwarf. And this is Night Springs. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Before we hear that. Okay, remember how the final draft ended? Yeah, Alan said he was the master of many worlds, right? Um, wow, we finished that with time to spare. That's it, right? That one... Oh, man. 
I, I, mm, I think that one was my favorite. That one was so creative. There was so much going on there. Um, the rose one, I don't know, because the rose one was like the most fun. It was like, it was, it was fun. It was adorable. It was high energy with the shotgun and just going after all those, uh, haters <laughs> of Alan. But I loved the vibes of this one. All the different scenarios that we went through. The forest part was really, really awesome with the atmosphere and the music. I liked the comic book section. We got to go into the Ocean View Hotel. We did like the little side scrolling um, beat em up shooter thing. And then I know that this is a. Uh, the last part there is probably very polarizing because it's a choose your own adventure text text adventure but i am a big fan of that kind of stuff i i love reading i i just i think that was really cool and there seems to be a lot of replayability with that cuz there's a lot of different choices that you can make and in mine, unfortunately, I turned into a monster and everybody died. <laughs> and Jesbit and everybody else. And reality itself all got destroyed. But that was super cool. Super cool. Dang it. And that's it. I really thought that Night Springs was going to take me at least a couple str uh, streams. I didn't realize it was so short. Oh, and we got to see Sam Lake just being adorable at the beginning of this uh, particular episode as well. Okay, let's let's listen to the song one last time. over <laughs> yay oh chasing the murder cult made me feel like i was caught in a loop every time i thought i was getting closer things shifted around and i realized i was further away than ever before instead of answers i only got more questions the name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing the deeper into the dark depths i got peeling off the layers of this case 
Like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to abyssal to the deepest trenches. The closer I felt to going mad. Thanks a lot, game. Making me cry after dancing like that. Damn. Damn it. I don't, I only know him from as being like Trench and, um, and in Alan Wake 2, not Max Payne, but like he's so, he, his performance in those were so good. And I especially loved him as Agent Alex Casey. And part of the reason that I loved Casey's character so much was his delivery of those lines and everything. So... I don't know what they're gonna do for... for the, the future of this story when it comes to Alex Casey. Really sad. Okay, well, now we're just ending on a very depressing note. Uh, but that was really fun and it only took one stream. So tomorrow we're going to be continuing Final Fantasy 12. Let's go over here. Let's get some good vibes here. That really sucks. <laughs> That really sucks. Um, tomorrow, more Final Fantasy 12.